Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Celestial Chronicles. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that blends history, mythology, and religion. We'll explore the origins of the Kaaba, the significance of the Hajar al-Aswad, and the transformation of the term Qibla. Sit back, relax, and let's embark on this historical journey together. Our story begins in the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, in the sacred city of Mecca. Mecca is known worldwide as the holiest city in Islam, but its history stretches far back, even before the rise of Islam. To understand the deep historical roots of Mecca, we need to look at some ancient practices and beliefs that predate the construction of the Kaaba, the Kaaba and the Hajar al-Aswad. The Kaaba, also known as the House of Allah, is the most sacred site in Islam. But did you know that its history is intertwined with pre-Islamic traditions and beliefs? One of the most intriguing elements of the Kaaba is the Hajar al-Aswad, or the Black Stone. The Hajar al-Aswad is a black stone set into the eastern corner of the Kaaba. Pilgrims from around the world come to kiss or touch this stone during their Hajj pilgrimage. But what's the story behind this mysterious stone? The Pre-Islamic Era Before the Kaaba was built, the region where Mecca is located was a bustling center of various religious practices. Many historians believe that the Hajar al-Aswad was worshipped even before Islam, and it was possibly part of a statue or shrine dedicated to a deity named Sibylli. Sibylli, also known as Kaibal in ancient Anatolia, was a mother goddess associated with fertility and nature. Her worship spread across different cultures and regions, and she was often represented by sacred stones and statues. Some scholars suggest that the Hajar al-Aswad might have been a remnant of such a statue, circling the Hajar al-Aswad. In ancient times, people would circle around the Hajar al-Aswad in reverence. This practice of circumambulation, or walking around a sacred object, was common in many ancient religions. It symbolized the cyclical nature of life and the cosmos. The act of circling around the Hajar al-Aswad was a way of honoring the divine presence that the stone represented. As Islam emerged, many of these pre-Islamic practices were adapted and integrated into the new faith. The Kaaba was built around the Hajar al-Aswad, and the practice of circling the Kaaba during the Hajj pilgrimage became a central ritual in Islam. This continuity between pre-Islamic and Islamic practices illustrates how deeply rooted the traditions of Mecca are, the evolution of the term Qibla. Now, let's move on to the term Qibla. In Islam, Qibla refers to the direction that Muslims face during prayer. This direction points towards the Kaaba in Mecca. But the term Qibla itself has an interesting history. There is a theory that suggests the word Qibla evolved from the word Qaibal. Qaibal, as mentioned earlier, is another name for the goddess Sibylli. Over time, as religious practices and languages evolved, the term Qaibal might have transformed into Qibla. The connection between Qaibal and Qibla highlights the influence of pre-Islamic traditions on Islamic practices. It's fascinating to see how ancient beliefs and terms can evolve and take on new meanings in different cultural and religious contexts. The importance of the Qibla in Islam. Understanding the historical evolution of the term Qibla helps us appreciate its significance in Islam. The Qibla is not just a direction, it symbolizes unity and focus for Muslims worldwide. When Muslims pray, they all face the same direction, towards the Kaaba. This act of facing a common direction during prayer unites Muslims across the globe, reinforcing a sense of community and shared faith. Sibylli and her influence. To delve deeper into the historical context, let's explore more about Sibylli, the goddess who might have influenced the traditions surrounding the Hajar al-Aswad and the term Qibla. Sibylli was a powerful mother goddess worshipped in ancient Anatolia, which is modern-day Turkey. She was associated with fertility, nature, and wild animals. Her cult spread to Greece and Rome, where she was known as Magna Mater, or the Great Mother. Worship of Sibylli involved various rituals, including music, dance, and processions. Sacred stones and idols represented her presence, and these objects were often revered and circled by her followers. The worship of Sibylli demonstrates the deep human connection to nature and the divine feminine, themes that resonate in many ancient religions. The transition to Islamic practices. As the Arabian Peninsula evolved culturally and religiously, many of the ancient practices associated with deities like Sibylli were transformed. When Islam emerged in the 7th century CE, it incorporated and reinterpreted several pre-Islamic traditions. The Kaaba itself was a significant religious site even before the advent of Islam. It housed many idols representing various gods and goddesses worshipped by the pre-Islamic Arabs. When Prophet Muhammad established Islam, he cleansed the Kaaba of these idols and dedicated it solely to the worship of Allah, the one true God in Islam. 
However, certain practices, such as circling the Kaaba, were retained and given new Islamic significance. The Hajj pilgrimage, which includes the ritual of tawaf, circumambulation, around the Kaaba, became one of the five pillars of Islam. This adaptation of ancient rituals into Islamic practices illustrates the continuity and transformation of religious traditions. The Symbolism of the Hajar al-Aswad The Hajar al-Aswad holds profound symbolic meaning in Islam. It is believed to have been sent down from heaven, and it serves as a physical connection between the divine and the earthly. Pilgrims who kiss or touch the stone do so as an act of devotion and reverence. The black stone's origin story varies, but one popular Islamic tradition states that it was given to Prophet Abraham by the angel Gabriel. It is said to have been white initially, but it turned black due to the sins of those who touched it. This transformation symbolizes the human condition and the need for divine mercy and forgiveness. Preserving History and Tradition The history of the Kaaba, the Hajar al-Aswad, and the Qibla underscores the importance of preserving cultural and religious traditions. These elements of Islamic faith have deep roots that extend beyond the religion itself, connecting to ancient practices and beliefs. As we reflect on these historical connections, we gain a greater appreciation for the richness and complexity of human spirituality. It reminds us that many of our religious practices today are built upon a foundation laid by our ancestors, blending old traditions with new interpretations. Conclusion In conclusion, the story of the Kaaba, the Hajar al-Aswad, and the Qibla is a testament to the enduring nature of human spirituality. From the ancient worship of Sibylle to the establishment of Islamic practices, these elements have evolved and transformed, yet they continue to hold profound significance. I hope you enjoyed this journey through history and learned something new about the fascinating connections between ancient traditions and modern faith. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more explorations into the mysteries of our past. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.